To start with our BVM of an apnea patient, we're going to open the airway, tap our patient to make sure they're unresponsive, check that pulse, and look down at the chest. We're looking for chest rise, and we're also feeling breath on our face. We have a pulse, but no breathing. We're going to look in the patient's mouth to see if they have any vomitus or secretions. If we see that vomitus, we're going to take our suction, just like in our suction station, check our suction, measure, insert, apply suction in a sweeping motion no longer than 10 seconds. Once we have that airway clear, we're going to take our oral adjunct, just like our OPA station, measure from the corner of the mouth to the corner of the ear, open the mouth, insert our OPA up, and then twist in to not push the tongue posteriorly. Then we're going to take our BVM, we'll attach our capnography, this is going to measure our end tidal, it's going to go in between the uh, mass and our bag valve. When we attach the, the mass to our patient's face, we're going to use what we call a CE group. We'll make a C with our index and thumb. That will go around our mass. And then our three fingers create the letter E to go under our patient's jaw. We need to make sure that we have a good seal on our patient's face. Some of the, the fail points are the bridge of the nose and the corners of the mouth. So take that extra second to make sure that your mask is on your patient's face. You're going to make that C around the, the mask to hold it to the patient's face and lift up with your three fingers in that E with your head tilt chin lift. And then we're gonna, when we squeeze our bag for our ventilation, it's just a nice, easy squeeze of the bag. There's no need to squeeze fast and rapid. That causes more air into the epigastrum or the stomach. And we don't wanna to squeeze too slow. Just a nice, easy breath. We're gonna to count to ourselves six seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, squeeze. We're going to ventilate our patient for approximately 30 seconds. We're going to attach our SpO2. This is going to monitor how much the oxygen saturation in our patient's blood because our mannequin doesn't have arms or legs, we're just gonna set this on their chest. Looking at our oxygen saturation, we're gonna notice that our oxygen saturation is low. They need oxygen provided through the BVM. We're also going to make sure that our patient still has a pulse. We check that pulse to make sure they're not in cardiac arrest and need CPR. Then we're going to grab our oxygen supply tubing. Our oxygen supply tubing is going to go onto our regulator that we learned in our oxygen administration. We're gonna turn this to 15 liters per minute. And on the back side of our BVM, our male and female pieces attach. That's gonna to start to fill this bag. And then again, make sure you have a good seal on your patient's face, head tilt, chin lift, your C and E grip, pulling the patient's face into the mask, and squeeze. The CE grip on the mask and the face seal is one of the most 
difficult pieces of ventilating a patient. You can have air escape through the corners of the mouth, through the nose. If you have a patient with facial hair, it makes it even more difficult. So take that extra second whenever you remove the mask to make sure you have a good seal.